Hey guys and welcome to the AGM 65 Maverick tutorial uh, in BMS 4.33 for the Hornet. And uh, <clears throat> the Maverick is that uh, fin weapon right there in the, um, the inner hard points. Uh, this is the D model which is the most commonly used variant by far. Uh, the G model has a bigger warhead and is actually I believe laser guided. Um, this one is a uh, visually or infrared guided uh, missile. It has an infrared seeker on the uh, on the front of the weapon there. And so the first thing we have to do is uh, power the weapon on. And let's go master arm on. Obviously we're going to go air to ground as always. And if we go into our SMS page, uh, we'll actually, uh, let's see, we'll select the uh, AG <coughs> AGM 65D here and we're going to power that on. It takes three minutes to do that. Uh, so you want to do this, you know, in your fence and check probably. Uh, they have an hour of standby time and then once you blow the cover off of the uh, the lens there, as you can see it's it's on. I, I don't know if they actually implement that, that graphic or not. They might, <laughs> might do it in BMS. But once you blow that cover it only has uh, 30 minutes of power with the camera on. So <clears throat> you'll see this not timed out indication and then once it's uh, ready uh, that message will go away. Make sure that you have uncage on your HOTIS or you can hit, I think by default it's the U key, uh, so you can uncage the weapon. That'll blow the cover and then you'll be able to see the uh, the uh, what the weapon is viewing through its uh, camera lens or its infrared lens. And there's three modes to the uh, AGM-65. Obviously, pre is a pre-planned target. Uh, probably the most commonly used uh, variation of that if you're attacking a uh, static target that's not moving. You can also do visual mode. And if you're using visual mode, uh, you know, common misconception, at least for me, is that you have to always bore sight the missiles. That's the big change in 4.33, and we'll talk about that. Um, but in visual mode, you can actually, if you look at the flight path indicator there, if I move my cursor on the HUD, I can actually just move that to whatever I'm looking at and then TMS up and actually uh, designate a target. Usually you have to TMS up twice to do that. All right, um, and then there's a bore sight mode if something's just kind of in your crosshairs here and you just need to shoot that off real quick. Now the weapon is always hot. That means once you hit the pickle, it will launch whether you have good parameters or not. Now, you're, you're going to get a miss, but it will launch, so just be aware of that. So we're going to launch it in uh, pre-mode for some pre-designated targets. And so let's talk about how we can bore sight this thing. All right, and you do have to do this fairly quickly. You want to give yourself some really good separation from the target. So, you know, you're looking at 30, you know, uh, miles away or so. And I'm going to select the target. Uh, if I DMS down from the TGP, it's going to switch over to the... Uh, FCR as a sensor of interest, uh, or from the at FLIR that is. And I'm going to select this target TMS up on that one. And what's going to happen is the uh, TGP is also going to look at that target. I'm going to DMS down again, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to look at that. Yeah, actually, let's if we can pick something prominent, it's, uh, it's actually a lot better, but I guess that'll do on, on that curvy road right there. We're going to try to get a point lock on that thing if we can. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and blow the cover on these uh, on these uh, AGM 65s. And the way we do that is we go over to Weapon. It's always good to have your TGP on one screen and your weapon on the other. And Uncage. All right, and you can see that can't see much there, but you can see that curvy road. Uh, and we're going to we're not going to. We're not going to actually designate it yet, so let's go back to FCR. Hornet, one, two, inbound for landing. Let's really Good try morning, to... One, welcome back. Let's really try to get that point lock. And I'll tell you why in a sec here. Alright, so I finally found a, uh, a pretty uh, significant building. Some of the smaller buildings, it's hard to get an IR point lock. Some of the nice vertical buildings, uh, it's pretty easy to get a, a point lock down at the base there. So, 
let's talk about a big thanks to the big uh, Shaisa <laughs> from YouTube uh, because he figured out a way to uh, train to Borsite the Mavericks without actually uh, getting a, f a avionics fault error. And you can see uh, th there's a few tutorials that kind of show that um, you don't have to get that fault error. Uh, and the way you do that is um, don't have the weapon page and the TGP uh, together when you're aligning this thing. Okay, so a really easy trick is just go FCR. All right, um, you can either find a target with your radar, okay, by slewing it, uh, or you can find the target with your uh, TGP, and then just go TMS up to get a uh, a point lock. And once you get a good point lock, see sometimes it doesn't want to do it. Once you get a good point lock, you'll see that box expand there and that means you have a nice solid lock on that. You want to have that indication before you try to align the uh, the Maverick. So if you come over here to the um, to the weapon page on the left side uh, if you don't have this in point mode you're gonna get that avionics fault error. If you have a good point lock uh, then go over to the weapon page alright and then you're gonna select the Maverick and move it over to the uh, to the same building okay once you do that you're going to TMS up and then you're going to bore sight it and you're not going to get an avionics error the reason that you get that avionics fault is that when you have the weapon page up and the TGP is that when you select a target with the TGP it's trying to transfer data over to the uh, to the Maverick and if the Maverick isn't aligned with the line of sight of the uh, the TGP, it's going to give you an error. Okay, so again, the way to do that is select FCR or anything else, get a good point lock on the target, and then uh, once you do that, then go over to your weapon page, uh, and then you can bore sight it. Once that one's bore sighted, you're going to press the nose wheel steering or missile step button on your fighter stick, and you're gonna you're gonna go from uh, station three to station seven. Now be advised that if you have multiple JDAMs on the left or right wings, it doesn't matter. You only have to do this process once for each hard point where the uh, AGM 65s are. So if you have three uh, Mavericks on the left wing, three Mavericks on the right wing, you only have to do it once per wing. All right. So I'm gonna hit the uh, missile step button or the nose wheel steering button. I'm gonna uncage this one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slew it over to this building, and uh, and I'm going to TMS up. Or actually, <laughs> I was I was uh, on the TGP there. So again, I'm going to I'm going to get off of uh, of the weapon page. I'm going to get a good point lock. And then I'm going to move over to the weapon page, and then I'm going to designate the uh, target, and then board sight it. Okay, again, no avionics fault whatsoever on that. Once they're bore sighted, you're ready to go. Uh, bore sighting is just getting the line of sight of the weapon with the line of sight of the uh, of the uh, uh, at FLIR or the TGP if you're flying the F-16. Alright, so let's go out to the range and fire these things off. And once you get the weapon uh, bore sighted, it's a good, a good idea to power it off unless you're going to be using it within 30 minutes of the uh, bore sight. So just keep that in mind. And just keep in mind that anytime you introduce what's known as cursor slew into the TGP, it means you're moving this thing around, all right? You want to always cursor zero to remove any uh, any cursor slew from the uh, TGP. So just remember to do that. If you don't do that, the uh, <coughs> your waypoints and your targets are going to be offset by whatever cursor slew you introduce. So once you're finished aligning. Uh, always uh, cursor zero, or any time you move the TGP in general to take a look at something, uh, it's a good idea to uh, to cursor zero. And you can see how far off our our <laughs> our TGP was pointing all the way down there for the uh, for the target, and it was actually here. And that's because of all that cursor slew that we introduced into the system. And once we hit the the CZ button here, uh, we're back on target. Okay, so now that we're bore sighted, we can actually use the TGP to designate any target that we want. In this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna designate this target 12, and you do have to TMS up on the uh, on the TGP. 
and there it has a point lock or you can designate it with the uh, Maverick itself even though the, the image in the TGP is obviously going to be a lot better and I'll show you some symbology here alright so on the right hand side we have a bracket uh, which is our uh, we weapon engagement zone or weapon in end zone and you can see here it's 10 miles we can fire the uh, the Maverick at this point so let's go ahead and do that for target 12 rifle alright and then let's uh, move over to another pre-designated target there's MIGs right there again we're gonna TMS we're gonna switch over to the TGP TMS up there's a good point lock <coughs> and the, you can see the Maverick uh, immediately picked up that target because we are bore sighted if you're not bore sighted you're gonna have issues with this the other way we can implement the weapon obviously is through a visual means so let me demonstrate that real quick let's go visual and uh, I'm gonna TMS down to undesignate this target here and let's uh, kill the cursors slew again and on the HUD there you can see that I'm able to move this little circle and that little circle is where the Maverick is pointing uh, so in visual mode you can actually designate any target that you want here uh, and obviously that's going to be a little bit harder because you got to get closer to it but uh, we can go down here and we can TMS up altitude, altitude. and there it snapped to a target altitude Altitude. If it doesn't snap to the right one. Altitude. 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 There it altitude. snaps. Altitude. Altitude. Gonna rifle it off. Altitude. Again. Boom. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. So obviously you can um, designate it in either uh, either using the TGP which is way more effective or you can go visual mode on the Maverick as well so just to recap to avoid that avionics fault error make sure you don't have the weapon page and the TGP at the same time you want to point lock a target with the TGP first and then uh, once you get a good point lock then switch over to the weapon page uh, and then you can uh, designate the same target with the Maverick uh, Seeker Head uh, and then bore sight it and do the same thing for the uh, for the other stations once you do that you can uh, use the TGP to designate any target uh, by TMS up and the Maverick Maverick's line of sight will be aligned with the TGP's line of sight and you'll be able to fire it off I highly recommend you practice this a few times on the range before you go out to combat uh, it is a little bit tedious. The Maverick is by far the hardest weapon to implement in BMS, uh, but with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do it smoothly and, and efficiently. And uh, again, a big thanks to the uh, the big Scheitze on YouTube for uh, posting the, the uh, non-avionics fault Maverick tutorial and for all the other guys that posted Maverick tutorials. A big thanks to uh, Red Dog as well for, for writing the uh, Dash 34. Uh, where a lot of the, this information is coming from. Uh, it's got tons of details in there and, and you can read that and get more information on all of the weapon systems and how to implement them in BMS 4.33. Big thanks to the uh, developers and uh, I'll see you guys out on the, on the range. Thanks for watching. See you next time.